Hurricane Michael, a historic storm. Landfall, October 10th, 2018, near Mexico Beach, Florida, one o'clock in the afternoon, central time, with winds of 155 miles an hour. That was nearly category five strength. That made it the strongest hurricane to hit the United States since Hurricane Andrew in 1992. 155 miles an hour, powerful. It started as a tropical disturbance in the Caribbean the week before, that was Friday, going into Saturday. We started noticing low pressure off of Honduras, and before the weekend ended, a potential tropical cyclone went to tropical depression, to tropical storm, to a category one hurricane. The forecast track very much on target, except for the wind. Initially, it didn't look like it was going to get that strong, but it became obvious that it was getting stronger. And there you see, from landfall, early afternoon near Panama City Beach, where winds gusted 130 miles an hour and more, quickly getting into southwest Georgia before sunset, still as a hurricane. Now, as I speak, damage reports are still coming in, but notice there's a pattern, reports mostly along the coastline, reports along I-10. And then if you look at the wider picture, even the east coast of Florida, northern Florida, reports of tornadoes. It turns out when you stop and think about it, the reports come in where people live mainly. Here's a nighttime view of the earth, lights showing human life, human activity. You can see the lights of the city of Mobile, Orange Beach, put on the city names to make it a little bit easier. And notice between Panama City and Tallahassee, it's pretty dark. In other words, the population is very low in that area. So what's interesting about this particular hurricane, even though it may be the strongest since 1992, it probably won't be anywhere near the most expensive simply because it hit a part of the coastline that is nowhere near as populated as say Houston, Texas or Orange Beach. Clearly, Atlanta, Birmingham, Montgomery, you could even see the lights of the towns along the interstates. Now moving through this evening and tonight, Hurricane Michael slowly weakens, but still it could be a deadly storm in terms of rain, flash flooding, even isolated tornadoes. It goes into South Carolina as a tropical storm, but fortunately it, it will be speeding up as it does so. So that's going to limit the potential for flooding rain. Overnight, the threat of tornadoes, especially for Georgia, parts of uh, southern South Carolina, and the rain amounts could be as high as four to eight inches along the path of Hurricane Michael. There are two other systems in the Atlantic. Hurricane Leslie has lived a long life. A hurricane again, soon to fade as in, in several days. And then there's Tropical Storm Nadine, likely to last only a couple of days, probably not getting any stronger. At the same time in the Caribbean, there's a bunch of clouds, unsettled weather, a disturbance. Now remember, hurricane season runs through November, so we watch all of this. But whatever that is, right now, steering winds look like they will take it to Mexico rather than get it into the Gulf of Mexico. So here's your summary of the hurricane season so far. It has been too many named storms, but we have to keep on watching until November, the end of November. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals.